If you clicked on this video, you are either new to Udir and want to learn him, or you are a jaded OTP with a million points looking to master him. Hopefully I can provide a little something for everyone. Let's get to it. The wall off. My favorite technique, especially because it works on old as well as new Udir. When you use your E, Udir gains movement speed for 4 seconds, but he also becomes ghosted. Being ghosted means having no unit collision, so you can run through minions and champions. Now here comes the trick. When you have stunned an enemy with your E, run through them while you are still ghosted. Shortly after, your unit collision will turn on again, allowing you to body block the enemy. Since you walked the way they wanted to go, you have now effectively walled them off of their escape route. Speaking of movement, here's a more general tip. Never stand still. A lot of new Udyr players make the same mistake. After stunning someone, they will switch into Q or R stance while standing on the spot, trying to attack as fast as possible. Doing so will result in this awkward pause where Udyr just stands there doing nothing, because switching stances is not an auto attack reset. Avoid this awkward pause at all costs. It makes you a predictable target for skill shots, as well as an easier to run from enemy. Instead, walk with the enemy after each auto attack to become stickier, or run in and out of the fight in between attacks to become unpredictable. The Phantom Hit Here's a trick you can use for playing Phoenix Udyr in top or mid lane. When Udyr uses his R and then auto attacks, it emits a shockwave around him or so it would seem. The shockwave actually comes from the center of the storm. We can use this knowledge to our advantage. When you use your awakened R, your storm will travel towards the enemy. If you then use auto attacks on minions, while the enemy laner is in your storm, they will be hit by the shockwave, even if you are nowhere near them. Lightning Isolation when you use Udyr's Awakened Q, it calls down a lightning that can potentially deal insane amounts of damage. However, this lightning does not prioritize your first target or champions. It will jump to anything else that is in range. So isolating the enemy is very important before you hit them with your Awakened Q. You can attempt to steer the fight away from the minion wave by either baiting the enemy into a promising trade or scaring them off of their wave and catching them before they reach their turret. Phoenix Radar One of Udyr's biggest weaknesses is enemies using invisibility because he heavily relies on auto attacks. But there's a way to deal with these invis abusers. Udyr's patented Phoenix Radar. See, when a stealth champion takes damage, they shimmer in a blue-ish color, which lets you know where they are. So when an enemy like Twitch, Kha'Zix or Shaco turns invis near you, activate your Phoenix Radar and follow it up with Ram Stance, so you can cover as much ground as possible. Once you find your target, you can stick close and be ready to strike. Udyr's Phoenix Stance is really just his inbuilt red trinket, but with 4 seconds cooldown and complementary damage. Awaken Override a lot of new Udyr players double tap an ability to use their Awakened as fast as possible. However, if you double tap into an Awakened stance, you will lose the value of the first cast. That damage can make the difference between an enemy escaping or dying, so make the most out of your abilities. Especially in late game fights where your Awakened ability is on a much lower cooldown, this overwritten damage you are missing really starts piling on. This goes double for clearing your jungle. It will massively improve your clear speed to switch through your stances properly. On your first clear, you can save around 5 to 7 seconds, which can be crucial if the enemy jungler is pathing to the same lane as you. Every clear after the first one will save even more time, because level ups and items make your abilities stronger. So using them to their full potential will make an even bigger difference. Min-maxing your passive and on-hit abilities is not to be underestimated. It will take your CSing to the next level if you apply it continuously. Thunder Ram Switching from one stance to another will usually make you lose the on-hit effect of the first stance. 
This is true for all stances except partially for one, the awakened cue. Switching from the awakened cue to another stance will remove the on-hit damage but not the lightning strike. So let's say an enemy gets away from you right after you used awakened Q, but before you could actually auto attack. Don't be afraid to tap into ram stance to chase your target. You can still apply the lightning strike by hitting them with the ram. If I had a dollar for every game I know that has rams with lightning powers, I'd have two dollars. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. The Golden Phoenix this is one for the players who enjoy full AP Udia. Before the rework, you were able to dish out a burst of damage and one-shot your target. This allowed you to weave in and out of the fight in tune with your damage spikes. The reworked Udia still has insane amounts of damage at his disposal, but it is now spread over time instead of being a burst. While this mainly seems like a bad thing at first, it actually has its upside when paired with Zonya's Hourglass. Regardless of you being engaged or doing the engaging yourself, popping Zonyas after using your Phoenix Stance will allow you to deal damage while being invulnerable. Additionally, you can combine Conqueror and Riftmaker with this to stack their effects without any risks. And if all of that doesn't convince you, I think using Zonyas might just be worth it for the style points alone. <coughs> Udyr and his slow. Udyr's Phoenix Stance has a cooldown of 6 seconds and a duration of 4 seconds. Even without building cooldown reduction, you can almost permanently slow the enemy. This unique circumstance makes certain runes and items interesting options for Udyr. For instance, Cheap Shot, which also only has a 4 second cooldown and puts some extra damage on each of your Phoenix casts. Approach Velocity, which will give you bonus movement speed towards slowed enemies. Horizon Focus, which gives you 10% more item and ability damage on slow targets. Fimble Winter, which gives you a shield every 8 seconds when stunning or slowing a champion. And lastly, Imperial Mandate, which marks enemies for extra damage and movement speed when they are stunned or slowed. Versatility King There is not a single champion in League of Legends as versatile as Udyr. His kit providing attack speed, physical damage, sustain, hard CC, magic damage and a slow allow him to be whatever he needs or wants to be. Udi is primarily a bruiser and tank, but can also be played as control mage or even assassin. I've even dabbled into building support items on him while jungling, simply because he can use all of their stats. So don't be afraid to break off of the meta if you feel like a different item could be good in certain situations. You might be surprised at how well some of them actually work. Maybe you won't find the next hidden broken OP strategy, but at the very least item building with Udyr will never be boring. And that is about all the tips and tricks I can think of. I hope you could take something away from this video. Let me know if you want a 10 tips and tricks video for other champions and subscribe so you don't miss it when I do.